Hello, hello. How are you? It is me. <laughs> Who else would it be, right? Anyway, um, it's funny because as ironic as it sounds with the, I'm eating a Starburst, by the way, the weekend reading about resting and no hurrying, no rushing, right? So there's a massive downpour outside. There's a thunderstorm going on. Um, if you can't hear it already, um, you may not be able to hear it because I have to put the air purifier on when I do my sessions because of the candles and stuff. Um, because my dad has a sleeping machine. Anyway, so I was told to do this full moon in Capricorn reading for the connection. Um, and I was getting ready because I'm going to go to, out to dinner with my parents later after they get out of church. Um, they're like, you got to do this reading before you go. And I'm like, okay, why am I rushing when the guidance was not to rush? So apparently something's going on astrologically. They didn't have, have, let me have time to fix it. I mean, fix it to go look into it or whatever. But they want me to get this reading done before I go to my, my parents, meet my parents for dinner. So <clears throat> anyway, we're going to look into what's activating with this full moon in Capricorn for um, the connection, okay? The connection with your person. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going backwards because usually I do the other reading before I do the connection reading for full moons and stuff. Oh, you know why? Because they're having me do a different type of um, full moon reading as to what I normally do. I'm going to be using the um, <coughs> the aura stuff with that. So, um, but they wanted me to get this done faster or done before the other one. So. We know that the full moon in Capricorn is on July 3rd, okay? It occurs at 7.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? It's um, it's going to be uh, 11 degrees, okay? So check to see where 11 degrees is in your Capricorn. Even if you don't have anything there, see what uh, Capricorn is touching or what the opposite side of Capricorn is. Um, or the opposite side of where your Capricorn is in your chart is what I want to say. So look in that. Um, even if you don't have anything there, it could affect you in a different way. Or your person could be greatly affected by this full moon in Capricorn, which means it's affecting you. Okay? Because we're all connected. So we're going to look in first to see what's being activated in the connection with your counterpart with this full moon in Capricorn. Holy Spirit, Archangel, Galactic, Canvas, Spirit, and Syrians, please do your test for highest good. What is being activated with this full moon Capricorn and the counterpart connections for those who are watching this? Wow. That came straight out the gate and it came out in the reverse. Now, there aren't really reversals in this, but there's a reason why it flipped out this way. This is the second chakra. This is the sacral chakra. But what I'm getting is that it was so powerful that it came out that there, there was a huge point to be made in why it came out in the reverse. So if you look at the bottom, oh, no, I don't know if it's going to ma magnify for me, if it's going to clear, I mean, get into focus. The energy of the sacral chakra helps us to navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the central world. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to, usually this works and it doesn't, but you know, I'm not going to get bent out of shape over it because sometimes it goes into focus, sometimes it does. It looks like it wants to do it, but it doesn't want to do it. Anyway. I know you trusted what I'm saying, but you can tell here's the second chakra. Now, what I'm being told right now is this is a good, great time to do the solar. Sorry, there's not a reason why I said solar. The sacral chakra, the second chakra meditation and my healing meditations thing and the Capella Cove. Okay, so this is going to help. But um, what's being activated is trying to re-engage your sacral chakra being in tune with what makes you feel sexy what makes you feel what gives you pleasure what gives you joy um being more central with what you're eating being more central with yourself like lathering your body and and soap or you know really taking your time the i don't know why i'm saying this taking your time in the bath and the shower even after the shower having your routine with like a, like essential oils or, or oils to go cover the body something like that because Capricorn, that full moon in Capricorn, for the moon is a detriment, okay? The moon hates to be in Capricorn. That is exceptionally moody and very irritated and very standoffish. It's also um, very emotional, but emotional where it's, it's not the pleasant of emotions, okay? So 
this is affecting the sacral chakra because Capricorn also talks about um, the shadow side is having control over things, being too materialistic, being too much in the 3D world and not tapping into creativity. Things that give us pleasure when it has nothing to do with the job, nothing to do with money. Um, um, even doing things for the soul. It's like food for the soul. And as I'm saying that, look at the bottom of the deck. It's the soul card. All right. The energy of soul activates our connection to the part of us that is closer to the higher realms, God or the divine. Right. <coughs> so this is tapping into those things that make your soul sing. OK, the full moon in Capricorn, because it's like some of us may be getting all bent out of shape or, or moody or irritated because we don't have a certain bank account, uh, money in, in our bank accounts or a certain amount of bank accounts. We don't have like these these material things that we're we're hoping to have to give us comfort type of thing um um capricorn's ruled by saturn there's a lot of karmic lessons here there's also things about being disciplined and and really understanding being realistic more in the fact that you need to tie into your creative part of yourself because that's where your soul uh, really elevates that is where you're really going to be more aligned with god when you are doing the things that give you joy but from a soulful level that have nothing to do with the 3d world you are sending you're growing which is also why they're telling me this came out in the reverse because this full moon in capricorn is trying to get you to learn something about yourself that things are not going to come to you in the things are not going to be wow it's really pouring outside things are really not going to be giving you pleasure of the 3D world. It's everything that's aligns with the soul, things that are connected to the higher realms, your mission, you know, what you just love to do, whether it's listening to music, creating things. Like I'm going to make an example here where I created this, the, all these dice last night, okay? That was part of me tapping into my sacral chakra. I was trying to deal with like feeling very emotional and getting a little bit agitated with certain things about you know, where I'm pulling away more from people who are still tied to the 3D world, who still haven't woken up yet, and being more in tune with connecting with my guys and my angels and doing creative things, okay? This is why I get, this keeps showing up, guys, about tapping into your creativity. So for those of you who are not really doing this already, this full moon in Capricorn is activating your uh, sacral chakra, and the fact that it came out in the reverse, there's something about some of you are not really... Um, tapping into that okay you got to be doing things that bring it's, it's food for the soul it's it's pleasure for the soul it's things that are really going to oh my god that storm's really crazy and my parents are supposed to go to church in a little bit but anyway this is something that is just really 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 um uh, it's really trying to wake a lot of you guys up okay so this is going to be very important um with this okay this full moon and capricorn is really going to get you guys to start transmuting that irritability that thing that where i need to i need to find pleasure in the things that are materialistic no you don't okay this is a huge lesson so in this connection when you tap more into this it's actually going to shift things around all right, activating our connection to the part of us that is closer to the higher realms, and that ties into your creative abilities. And it does you don't have it doesn't have to be wrong, it doesn't have to be something specific. Just do something. Like it's crazy that this is coming because I was doing I bought these dice and these Sharpie fine line markers, and I was like, I was feeling emotional, but because I'm tying more, I'm getting closer to the divine. I'm starting to really grow and understand and better to better understand that I am a soul. I'm a spiritual being in a meat suit. And because I've been ascending at a rapid rate, I'm starting to realize more about this myself and really having even a stronger bond with God that I am a spiritual being. I am not fully human being. It's just I've God put me in this vessel. And I need to be doing the things that connect me closer to God, like being out in nature and, and, and tapping into my creative abilities, like creating this stuff. And like, I've never done this before, right? So I was activating more of my sacral chakra by doing that. And of course, there's my deck here, right? There's my deck that I created, right? That's, that's 
soul, this, I keep saying solar plexus because it activates that light, guys. It gives you more confidence in your abilities and gives you more confidence. Like, yeah, I can, I don't really need to be second guessing my creative abilities. Let me just go create something and not be in that soul energy and not be the human being thinking that it has to be perfect, that it has to be this, has to be that. Why am I creating dice? Because I was guided to do it. My soul told me to do it to help me to transmute those emotional energies that I've been feeling the past few days because of this full moon and transmuting that into my creative abilities. And when I did that, I was getting closer to God as I was creating these dice. I was listening to music because my person sent me a song to help me, right? And I'm like, this is good. I'm connecting with God in a different way by doing things, utilizing my creative talents, using color, using whatever. This is why it's in the reverse, guys, because some of you are not doing this. And this keeps coming up. Do something creative, creative abilities, do something creative. A lot of you, when you've done personal readings with me, you've gotten this sacral chakra that is blocked. This is what is saying this full moon in Capricorn is causing you guys to have a blocked solar sacral chakra. It's also solar plexus, so don't get me wrong with that, okay? The duality within yourself, the yin and the yang. Yin is feminine, yang is masculine. Supports your ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites, okay? Top of the deck is the strength card. The frequency of strength supports our ability to harmonize all our qualities and skills toward a strong and balanced way of being. This is why some of you are still being overly masculine with that 3D world, which is why it came out in the reverse, and not tapping enough into this, building something with your hands, drawing something, painting something, but doing things differently. If, like, if you create something, it's the same thing all the time, you need to expand your skills and expand your horizons and start doing things differently, things you've never done before like this. Okay, now I'm not saying that you have to do this exactly, but this is what I was guided to do, to create wellness dice, okay? And I had all these, like this one, it's like this one I'm still trying to figure out, but my guides told me to write this colored dice with these certain dots that way, and they're like, it'll come to you when, when you're ready, type of thing. But in the connection, it's really activating that within you. Tap into your Shakti. This is the sexuality about yourself too. Don't hold yourself back on that either, okay? It's not a sin. <laughs> but this is also about what gives you pleasure, pleasure on a soul level, not a 3D level okay creation is everything this is when you really open up your feminine energies this is saying that some of you are still coming from a distorted feminine energy and you're not tapping into that soulful place about creating all different types of things and this is about some of you guys creating things that you've never created before just sit there, connect with God and say, God, what do you want me to do? Pick up a pen, pick up a box of crayons and just start doodling and watch what happens when you fully get into your, your, um, your sacred self. Okay. So, um, for the smaller group of you, this is really about in the connection. Others of you are really in tune with this type of, uh, second chakra energy sacral chakra where you are tapping into that part of yourself right you navigate through your emotions and supports your ability to enjoy the central world what gives you pleasure on a soul level so the smaller group of you this is what's being um, activated where or what's happening is that it's just reassuring you that you are doing more of this stuff this could also start bringing about more creative abilities that you didn't realize you had, guys. Because remember, full moons are also activating things. You're also releasing the need to find pleasure in the 3D world, getting communication from your person in the 3D, like your job, your your home, your finances, like getting pleasure from that. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't have to, you, don't, you can't take yourself out for a nice dinner or take yourself out to some some event where you know it's um you know it it gives you joy this is not that but this is again it has to do with what gives you joy all right what things you find pleasure in. and it could be something as simple 
as going out to the beach and getting a tan and then going in the water afterwards, right? There's nothing material with that. Sure, you need to pay for the parking and sure you might pay for like a beautiful like city chain dinner. I'm talking about from my own experience from last week, but you get the point, right? What feeds the soul, what fuels the soul, what enlightens the soul. Those are the things that I love to do. And I love to just make up shit, okay? I feel like my vibration goes up through the roof. So a much smaller group of you, you're already doing this. And what's happening is that your creative gifts are actually being activated, the ones that you didn't know you had, and your, your soul is actually elevating. This is a huge soul growth for those of you who are already doing this and you're actually be raising at a much higher vibration at this time. So let's see what the tarot wants to say, what's being activated in this connection with the counterparts. Holy spirit, you see how that card came out too? Look, it's the world card, wow. If that is not the card to come out that says has a big message of slapping us in the face, not slapping us in the face, in a way, yes, trying to get us to wake up, but like it's a big message, okay? So I'm also getting, and for a smaller group of you who've already been fully tapped into this sacral chakra, it's unblocked, it's clear. You are creating, you are a creator. That's what you are here to do, okay? You're not here to work, toil, labor in a nine to five job and try to make money for somebody else, that type of thing. No, you're here to create. God give you those abilities. <clears throat> and for those of you who've already been doing this, there is a huge cycle that is coming to an end. All right. It's a huge chapter closing in your life because you've balanced all four elements, air, earth, water, fire. You're fully balanced with your masculine and feminine energies because you are now fully immersed in understanding what feeds your soul what fuels uh, your what what gives you pleasure on a soulful level right because you're already tapping into those creative abilities and god has been asking you to create those of you who've not been creating enough this is now the time to get start doing this all right that full moon in capricorn and this full moons do close out cycles but for some it's closing out a cycle where you are now starting to experience things on a 3D plane that give you pleasure, okay? That have to do with the 3D world, but that's because you balance that masculine and feminine. You, your, you, your elements are all balanced out. This is also for somebody specific. If your birth chart already has a very nice balance with the elements, this is for you, okay? You will be able to tell if you are you are completely balanced you don't have a lot of water you don't have a lot of fire you don't have a lot of air you don't have a lot of earth you don't have a lot of air and water and stuff like that if your chart already has a nice balance in all the elements and you will see this okay with where everything's placed that means that one of the lessons you had to learn was this whole thing the creation Connecting to the part of you that gets you closer to the divine through your feminine energy, through your creativity, <coughs> and realizing what you were capable of and activating those gifts you didn't know you had. So for the person who has all of the elements balanced here, you've learned to align with that balance that is in your chart. You've learned the lessons. Remember, Saturn rules Capricorn. You've released all that doesn't serve you that has to do with the material world. And now you are actually aligned with what is in your chart. That is huge. And that's only for a very small group of people. And you know who you are because if you know all of your placements are balanced in your chart, this is your message. Okay? Which means you've activated this. You, you've, you've learned this. A huge chapter in your life is ending there are big new beginnings there are going to be things that are going to be uh very different for you going forward you're about to embark on a completely new journey a completely new chapter in your life this book in your life is closed and now you're going to start writing a new one there's great success here this is massive completion for somebody 
the others of you, this is telling you that this cycle of not tapping into your creative abilities, not doing what gives you joy on a soulful level, right? Getting away from the 3D shit because it's not going to help you to with your soul's growth. It's not going to help you to elevate. And a lot of that has to do with creativity. All of you have been blessed with creative talents. It is now time for you to start utilizing those or start doing things differently than other talents you've you've been given. All right. Either way, I said this was going to be big, did I not? It's a significant turning point because major chapters in your life are coming to a close. And this is something that you can't do anything about because the universe has all control. So if you don't allow yourself to to start really tapping into more of what connects with you, connects you to the divine and tapping into more your feminine energy, your, your creative energy. This also deals with, um, you know, taking care of yourself too, the self care, the self love with the second chakra. All right. <clears throat> Dealing with your emotions. This also talks about your, uh, uh, your stomach region. Okay. Um, the womb as well for females. Um, <clears throat> again, those of you who have done personal readings for, if you've done your chakra healing reading already, if you've done your ancestral pattern, if you've done your um, supernova reading, a lot of you, if all of you that have done this, you all had a blocked sacral. <coughs> For some of you, it's blocked again. For a much smaller group of you, it's not. I'm hearing that the universe is saying it's time to end this cycle. You've really got to be tapping more into self-care, what brings you pleasure on a soul level, and really doing things that, you know, you put your hands on. Or, like, you have this idea and you put it into, in human form, you put it into a 3D form, Okay. You've completed the fool's journey. A lot of you, I said, you're leveling up. It's now time for you to start moving to the next thing here. Bottom of the deck is, and look, this has Saturn in it. See what I said? Saturn is causing you guys like, guys like, nope, nope, nope. This is ending right now. You need to start connecting to the parts of you that get you closer to the divine. And that is you to opening up your second chakra, your sacral. Dealing with your emotions. Some of you get depressed. Some of you get really sad. Do something creative. Some of you get really angry and irritated and frustrated. This full moon could be doing that for either one, uh, either type of emotion. Start doing something creative to deal with those emotions. You're going to realize you're not alone. You're going to start realizing something about yourself. Oh, hey, I feel so much better now. It's exactly what I did last night. And I had this massive epiphany. Oh, when I am losing more of the real world within me, this is about us becoming less of the 3D world and just being in it instead of of it. We're always going through major cycles in life through this. We don't go through one hero's journey, guys. We go through multiple of them. We get to the world and we start off with the fool again. But this is starting off as the fool, but learning from everything that we have been taught in that previous journey. And we ascend. We get closer to God. It's soul's growth. It's spiritual growth. And we start to realize... What is important in our lives and we start while we're pulling away from the 3D world more and more and more, we're starting to better understand who we are as soul beings. Saturn is teaching you a huge lesson, but you can't fight this because if you get stagnant and you keep getting a reverse second chakra card or you keep getting a block that your solar plexus and your sacral are blocked, this is meaning that you're not fully engaging in this on a daily basis. It could be playing music. It could be listening to music and coming up with your own lyrics or something like that. I don't know. The bottom of the deck is fire. Energy. Knight of Wands. Taking risks. 
This is also tapping into creativity and taking action on that. You have the ability to create the world that you want. It's going to be a whole new world for you when you start to realize that you have what you need. That the heart wants what it wants and you go after it. And you take those risks and you have that confidence and courage. You're going to be bold and to be brave and say, okay, this, this cycle is done. I don't want to be living this life anymore. I got to do something that is more for me. I got to start doing things differently than I've ever done compared to what I've been taught in the 3D world, right? You're getting on your horse and doing something about it. That fire is being lit un up under your ass. Like, okay, I got to get this going. I got to do something about those emotions. The soul spark. It's like in Transformers. They're not alive unless they have that soul spark in them. It's what lights them up inside. This is exactly what's happening with this full moon in Capricorn. This is also an energy of like being irritable or, or emotionally frustrated. There's arrogance here. There's impatience, impulsiveness. Like, um, I want things to be faster or there's something here with regards to Jealousy, okay? Jealousy does also affect the second chakra, by the way. So be very careful with that. That is not going to help you. It'll hinder you more so than you know, all right? Um, there's also dealing with people who are hyper, volatile, um, or arrogant, or they hold a grudge or you're holding a grudge. This is hastiness, right? Recklessness. If you're holding grudges, that's got to be released. That's got to end. Because it's holding you back from something. <clears throat> if you're dealing with people who just like to show up, get what they want, and leave... That cycle is ending because now you're going to be this leader here, <coughs> a champion of the people, and people are going to start realizing certain things, and maybe they're going to be there for the long run now or something like that. But if you're feeling arrogant or volatile, whatever, this is time for you to tap into your, uh, your sacral chakra to release this energy. Others of you, if you're dealing with people who just come in, or there's strong sexual energy here where there's strong sexual um, communication or they only want something sexual from you or something like that, you have the ability to put an end to it. Because guess what these are, these the masculines are doing. When they get roughed up sexually and their blood is flowing to you nowhere and it's just like they feel this need to like try to get that filled by talking to the feminine or trying to have like, you know, it's like sexting or trying to get pictures or something like that, guess what? They're, they need to tap into their creativity to deal with these sexual urges and to not just flat out be impulsive and be, be selfish and just go try to get their needs met by trying to, you know, make the feminine comply with it or trying to get a response from the feminine to kind of appease that. The masculines are learning that they have to tap into their creativity too, their feminine energy, to balance that out, to kind of tame the beast. And the reason why some of you may be getting this type of energy or something like that, right? Strong sexual urges or it's just like all they have is sex on the mind is because why that was in the reverse. You are not opening up your, your sacral chakra is blocked. The others of you, there's a masculine here and, and the connection where you're getting much closer to God here. And there's something where something creative is going to be expressed by the both of you. And this is the feminine already expressing things in a creative manner. 
but I'm also getting because there's strong masculine energy here. The masculine collective is realizing that they can't approach the feminine anymore coming from that place. They can't just jump in there and start off making sexual jokes or asking the feminine for something like pictures or things like that, or it's just a strictly sexual conversation. They know that that's not all. I mean, yeah, you can have that. But the thing is, is that that, is, that doesn't constitute a soulful connection. It does not constitute a divine connection when it's just sexually based. There has to be a balance there, right? And the masculine collective especially needs to learn how to transmute those strong sexual urges. And when that happens, they tame the beast by doing something creative, doing something musical, something that's on a soulful level, right? And then... Wow, you hear all that? That's God confirming what I'm just saying. And they're taught, they're, they're been learning to not really beat themselves up for having that because that's strong. Like the, the, the males have more of that energy, but this is more of them being able to tame that beast, them being able to, to handle it in a better way so that it's they're not always coming to the feminine with that type of energy and when the feminine is doing her part with creating and being really um doing what makes her happy what brings her pleasure the masculine is gonna follow suit and do the same this is how it works so there's a masculine here who's like i'm ending this cycle of being selfish of being um impulsive of coming in, getting what I want, and then leaving the feminine, especially when they come to the feminine with strong sexual energy. And they're like, that has to end. I gotta be a lot more creative when I come into the feminine because there's passion here. There's a lot of passion. There's strong sexual chemistry, but they're looking at this now from a soulful level. But they also have to come in, if they're, they're passionate, if they have these strong sexual energies for the feminine, they're going to take action and express this to the feminine in a very creative way, right? Like poetry or songwriting where you can put these emotions and really come to the feminine in a very different way instead of the way that they were doing before, <coughs> okay? This masculine energy, masculine collective as well. Some of the masculines, not, not all of them yet. They are getting the fire lit up under their ass, but they're realizing, I want the feminine and I do have this strong sexual chemistry with them. I do have this passion for them. I do want to do something about it. I'm going to take that risk. But I'm going to come back in bold, brave, confident, courageous, determined to win her back over or him back over but I'm going to do it differently and I'm going to do it in a more creative way I'm going to transmute those sexual energies and my passion into something creative and that's why we have the world card here this is huge because a small part of your masculine small, this is not all of you okay a much, much smaller group. You know who you are. You've done your work. You've balanced everything in your chart. Balancing the 12. I have a reading like this that helps you to understand how you're gonna balance every area of your chart, all houses, okay? If you've already gotten my deck and you've gotten the 25% off coupon code, I highly recommend that you apply it to that reading because it's gonna help you get here. And watch what happens when you've balanced everything out in your chart, your masculine's gonna do the same. And he's not gonna feel guilty about these strong sexual urges for the feminine. But what he's gonna do is that he's gonna approach her very differently. It's more gallant. It's more knightly. Okay? More chivalrous. Because a knight, a chivalrous knight, a proper knight is not going to come towards a lady, go straight asking for sex. And just all it is is about sex. And then you're going to be trying to um, lure them with a carrot, right? 
and they get what they want and the feminine doesn't get what that is not what a knight of the realm does that is not what knights used to do there was chivalry there was respect there was um purity in this there is also being a gentleman courtship romance is also involved in this there's also something about a strong energy of a romantic trip or a romantic adventure i'm getting yeah there's travel here there's also something about somebody could be unexpectedly seeing you soon they're traveling to you soon or this full moon capricorn is activating that something like that their sacral is really blowing up for some of them and it's fueling their fire within them to come towards the feminine to take action towards the feminine whether it's either traveling to see her or asking her to go on a romantic trip with her or or coming to her as this true chivalrous passionate romantic knight okay wow that is pretty nice but remember the others of you your so-called bat your so-called knights your masculines are still this They can't handle their emotions properly, and this is part of their lesson learning, okay? There's something about you also trying to rush things, being hasty, trying to, like, I need to, to I want this cycle to end, I want this, this, I don't want to have to take so much time learning, growing, you know, but remember, if you're not taking risks, if you're not doing what your heart tells you to do, then you're, you're still getting stuck in a cycle. You're stuck in reverse, Right? The shadow side of this is being stuck in reverse. Nothing is moving forward because you aren't doing the things necessary. You're not taking action to move things forward. It's starting the thing. It's doing the creative thing, whatever this is. Nice. I like this. <coughs> Others of you remember, there is... um. um you you got to roll with the punches i'm hearing there's also feeling fulfilled completely fulfilled in doing creative things and taking action on them when guided your sense of belonging that is for the others of you where your 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 sense of belonging is increasing because you're doing more creative things and that's how you're connecting with your your soul tribe your soul members your your higher beings all that god all of that stuff okay if you're disappointed about anything, that's because you need to start shifting things around. You're causing the delays in your connection. You're trying to seek closure from someone who's not ready to give you that closure. You're thinking that there are shortcuts to having your person come forward in the way as this true chivalrous knight, but that's not going to happen if you don't do your work. Some of you are stagnating you're taking you're taking too much time because you've been guided to kind of like up the ante a little bit but to get going on things but remember not rushing it your sense of belonging is going to come from you tapping into your talents and your gifts and your skills not communication with your masculine not getting something from the masculine not hoping and wishing that your masculine would just like hurry up and like come to you and and like sweep you away sweep you off your feet or or to to come in with this like boldness and bravery and stuff like that and to tell you the truth and to be this like romantic person or whatever to be the true knight but they're not there some of them are not there yet you need to find you need to start belonging uh feeling bo uh, like you're one with the universe but but doing it on your own So let's see what else we need to learn about these counterpart connections with the uh, Fool and Capricorn. What else is this Fool and Capricorn? Um, how is this? How is it affecting the counterpart connections? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic families, Pleiades, Series, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guides, your support, and your clarity. Look at this, number 32, the eighth house, endings and beginnings. You can't freaking make it up. There it is. It's a massive ending. This full moon Capricorn is ending something very big for a lot of you. <clears throat> you.
you cannot expect a masculine who has this type of shadow energy to just suddenly just have it go away or they fix themselves or they 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 get out of this in a short amount of time the world card is there that is the end of a seriously long journey and the behavior of the shadow side of the masculine with this right this is considered as the player as the one who can't commit and i do not like the player word I do not like it at all because there is a reason why some people, men and women, are players, okay? There's always a reason, and that's part of their distorted energies, okay? This person is not going to come in as this confident, courageous, chivalrous knight without some work from you and without some work from them. You can't get to the world card in a short period of time. You try to cut to, to cut through corners, right? Take shortcuts. You're not going to learn your lessons. And your person is definitely not going to learn their lessons either. Eighth house, Scorpio energy. Scorpio is deep emotions. That is deep, dark shadow shit. A lot of you, this full moon in Capricorn is really going to pull that stuff out of you. You're feeling irritated and movie, moody and emotional because this is supposed to bring something in your shadow side that you are not seeing. And if you're having a hard time understanding what this, what this is, I can help you with this. But again, something has to end and something for, in order for something to begin... For the masculine collective, this behavior, this shadow knight has to end. If anything wants to manifest with, or anything needs, uh, if there's going to be a new beginning with the feminine, right? This is what a lot of masculines are learning. And when you are a true divine feminine Christ, you understand the spiritual reason for this. Because it also teaches you not to deal with that. Not to deal with somebody who cannot commit, someone who puts you second and not first. And you go about your merry way. You take risks. You go find your own adventures. You go go on your own journey. You do your own things to connect at a soul level. And as you elevate, so will your person. You go through your endings and beginnings. You start realizing those shadow parts of yourself that you didn't want to face. This is facing your fears. Foon and Capricorn, because it's a detriment, it's getting all of you to face your fears. What you don't want to look at about yourself that you're hanging on to, that you're not releasing. Especially if you're overly emotional. Some of you have very strong Scorpio in your chart. Or strong water, or strong air. That part of yourself has got to be balanced out. And these full moon energies, because the moon hates to be in Capricorn, it's teaching you a massive lesson. Are you going to stay in these emotions, these lower vibrational energy, or are you going to do something about it? Are you going to put an end to it? Are you going to balance out? Are you going to find a creative way to process these emotions? Remember, it could be anger, irritability, jealousy, impulsiveness. It could be depression, sadness. Oh, I'm missing somebody so much. I need this person to give me this. I need this person to give me that. No, you don't. You absolutely do not. You do not need any human being to fix anything for you in the physical. You can have support. It's I'm getting that song, Fix You, from, oh my God, from um, Coldplay. My mom was watching Saturday Night Live and she fell asleep. And I was cleaning the dishes because I made dinner for my parents so they didn't have to worry about eating. And... I started crying. Because of what those lyrics talk about. Because there are so many people struggling in the world with dealing with their emotions. With letting it out, with crying. You can be angry, you can be sad, but again, you allow yourself to release that. This is about releasing what doesn't serve you. And then you say, okay, I acknowledge this. I realize why I'm feeling this way. I better understand it. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to transmute that energy so that I'm not going to be in it for hours upon end, for days upon end. I'm going to be able to be in tune with those emotions, but transmute them into something that will bring me closer to God. This is very hard to do, ladies and gentlemen. This is not something easy to do. 
This takes a considerable amount of work and it's gonna take a long time to get there, but you have the ability to do this. You can't be afraid of diving deep into that shadow side of yourself and letting it come out. You have to learn how to face your fears and learn from why you have those fears, why you have those emotions. It's the death of the ego here. Oh my God. They just confirmed something to me that I thought I had lost my mind about. Thank you, Holy Spirit and my team. Look at the Egyptians. Look at what they've done in society. There was a lot of creation there. Some of you may need, you may come from an Egyptian, uh, you may were Egyptian in a past life, or there's something about um, the Sphinx here. The Sphinx has the strength and courage to follow their divine guidance, to take risks and to go after what they want, what makes them happy, <coughs> but also doing it in a creative way, following their passions, right? Why do you think they were able to connect with those otherworldly beings to create what they did? Think about that one. <clears throat> this is shedding your old skin. And with those emotions, a lot of you are starting to shed more of your 3D self to become more aligned with your soul self. And that song, Fix You, right? When you are at a high vibrational place, you are able to fix someone on an energetic level, at a soulful level. This is the magnitude of the power that you have. We are going to be able to help our masculines on a soulful level, not on a 3D level, which is why we have to go through separation phases, which is why we have to go through these deaths, these sorrowful things, these endings, these beginnings. It's Phoenix rising from the ashes, but you are rising every time you start to realize what the reason of you being in your person's life is, what their being in your life is, and the purpose of this connection. You were not here to fix anybody in the 3D world. You're supposed to do it on an energetic level. Yes, you can be a teacher. You can be a guide like me and give them the guidance and stuff, but it's really up to you to understand it on a soul level. My soul is speaking to you. It is not my 3D self speaking to you. It's like this all of the damn time. And I come at you in a way that may be a little bit it may seem arrogant to you. It may seem a little bit brash. It may seem a little bit much. This is my <coughs> masculine energy coming in. Because I'm pulling out the darkness from you. And putting it up into the light to get you guys to see certain things. This is what a true light worker does. This is what a lot of you as a feminines here are learning to become. Because you, when you make those profound changes in your life, when you face your shadows, you face your fears, and you start to realize being in tune with those emotions and asking you why you feel that way, why you feel a, a think about certain other people, you're going to make you're going to be an example for your person to make those same profound changes. <clears throat> Change is inevitable. First house, body. See where your first house is and see where your second house is. What astro zodiac signs are there? What planets are there? <coughs> this could mean that these are being affected by this full moon in Capricorn. The body, the sense of self, the physical body. What did I say about things in the physical? What did I say about you are leaving more of your physical body and being more aligned with your higher self? A lot of you are starting to realize you are a spiritual being in a human vessel. You're going through earth school and you're starting to realize why you were here, what this is all about. And the fears come with that. 
and you're having the courage and the confidence to face your fears and to take action on those things that you're afraid to take action on. And the others of you, the ones whose masculines are ready because you are ready, because they're ready to go, they've had a massive death of the ego. This full moon in Capricorn, they're going through a massive death of the ego. And I'm getting this is the final cycle of the ego death in this phase of their journey and the connection with you. Because as I said, they're no longer going to be physical beings, sexual beings, right? Because a lot of men, especially, they get driven by the female anatomy and the female body and all this other stuff, right? Or even some women too, okay? <clears throat> they're realizing there's got to be a soul in this. There's got to be a soul in that hot body and that, that really attractive person. This is also a really attractive, charming person. It's not just about the good looks. It's not just about the charms and shit. It's the soul of the person. And the masculine is starting to realize this. It's not just about the body anymore. It's about what's in their soul. Right? They have, a lot of you who've ran, especially the masculine, ran into like really attractive people. Like hot, right? But they're dead inside. They have no soul. There's no light in there. And they're realizing, I don't want that. I don't want just a hot person who has no soul, who's, who's dead inside. That doesn't, that's not fun anymore, right? They were going on these adventures, having their fun, having their cake and eating too with these like going on escapades and stuff. And it's, it's like, I don't want this anymore. And they're also realizing that they don't have to be good looking and hot and just like charming and all this stuff and be like yeah I'm, I'm overly confident I I got this in the bag type of thing like also sex is power that's going away for some of them they're realizing that they're more of the soul than of the body and for a much smaller masculine collective they're realizing this truth that the ego is what kept them in this never ending cycle and then people they were drawing people who would come in and out of their life too they were attracting people who were dead inside who had no soul well they do have a soul but they were dead inside there was huge ego issues <coughs> involved in this and capricorn does deal with the ego because it's a devil card the deep dark secrets about us are starting to surface and it's starting to surface with the masculine collective and some of the masculines are realizing that what they were wanting was not what they were needing. And that is a huge lyric in the Fix You song by Coldplay. Go listen to it. And for me, I was getting emotional because now I'm starting to realize something with that song. But there's also something about me realizing my sensitivities, but also understanding that I am a soul being and that I have a lot of compassion for people who can't be in tune with those feelings, for people who think like they got to be a certain way to attract people, or be a certain way to have love or be a certain way to have success because the world card is also about success and sense of accomplishment. You find your own sense of accomplishment and it has nothing to do with the physical body, the physical world. Look who's after this. It's fucking Saturn. You cannot make it up. The truth, the reality of it all. Saturn comes in with some very harsh lessons to get us to understand the truth about ourselves, about those things that we want to try to hide from, about those fears that we don't want to face. There's always truth in every fear. Wow. <clears throat> so this was only supposed to be for the astrology people. But now I'm being told this has got to go out to everybody. Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. Saturn is really coming in to kick ass here. Saturn is there again, as I said. Focus on you. <clears throat> A lot of you are going to go through massive ego death yourself. Stop letting the ego get in your way. Could be arrogance, could be fear, 
could be you like you're overly confident. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I can do this on my own or I don't need to take that long to get to permanent union. I don't need to take that long to do my shadow work. Um, my guys are saying no. You're going to go through multiple ego deaths, like I said. That could be part of what you're facing. Your shadow self. You could be used to being like the leader all the time or something like that. And now you're being brought to someone who's going to lead you. What time is it? All right. I don't think my parents went to church, actually, because the storm was that bad. Okay, so I'm going to be shuffling these cards. I'm going to be doing a message from your person by rising sign. And I don't have my astrology cards. Oh, they want me to hold on. <clears throat> Already tell me it doesn't have to be perfect, Jess. To those of you who already purchased my deck, thank you so very much. I'm telling you, once they come in, you are going to love them. All right, we're gonna start with Aries. Aries, sun and rising. Okay, but it's more rising. They're tell telling me. Okay, here we go. I just saw a blue-eyed person. Aries, sun, and rising. Person, a message for your person. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, they want me to bring my other deck in this too. Hold on. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others that's a big message there all right <clears throat> holy spirit how do you want me to do this okay hold on holy spirit archangels galactic families played syrians please reveal to us for our highest good for Aries sun and rising what does their person want to say to them what else do they want them to know Please and thank you. Words cannot express how grateful I am for you. I truly am. Yeah, it sounds like my parents didn't go to church. <laughs> so I guess when I finish here, we'll go to dinner. I was going to meet him at the church parking lot, and we were going to go together. But God had other plans. Bottom of the deck. It's time for permanent union. Be prepared. Now, it could also be where it's time for permanent union with yourself. Be prepared. Remember, your inner masculine could be talking to you with this. The others of you, Aries, Sun, and Rising, this could very well be your person. You know who you are. If they're ready, they're ready. All right. Taurus. They're having me shuffle in a very different way. Do not judge and do not start saying shit because this is what I'm being guided to do. Taurus, Sun, and Rising. This is very interesting. See? Okay. Oh, let me write it down. So that you guys can cycle through this, Taurus. So if you want to skip ahead for your sun and rising, <clears throat> you can do that. Imagine all unwanted, all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That's what your person wants you to know. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Well, there it is again. How do you want me to shuffle these, Holy Spirit? Okay, do one. All right. Holy Spirit, our King of the Family played series. Please do your test for highest good. Oh, two. Okay. Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Uh, what does Taurus, Sun, and Rising's person want to say to them? Wow, they're a little bit stubborn. There we go. Words cannot express how grateful for you, grateful I am for you. I truly am. There it is again. 
It's time for permanent union. Be prepared. And I shuffled. Okay, that is very interesting. <coughs> wow. I like this. Okay, so now we have Gemini, Sun and Rising. What do you want me to do for shuffling, Holy Spirit? Okay, you want me to do this. Gemini, Sun and Rising. What does their person want to say to them at this time? Okay, there's a lot for Gemini, Sun and Rising. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So for those of you going through a turmoil and those wondering why things are happening and things don't make sense, something is about to be revealed. Soon, God is going to reveal to you the answers as to why you went through what you went through. And it's going to be a big reveal. I'm getting there's a massive blessing coming for some of you, Gemini, Sun and Rising, because there's a huge cycle ending. Okay. Endings and new beginnings. There's going to be some very drastic, profound changes happening in your life. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Some of you have learned how to do this. Others of you are learning how to do this, allowing joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Now, I'm getting very strongly for Gemini, Sun, and Rising. So you, that's why I said the smaller group, it's the end of this. You found what lights your soul, what feeds your soul by tapping into doing something creative. Even with the circumstances that you are in. Bottom of the deck. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. That is this. You've let go of the past. You've released it. This does not serve me. I'm not doing this. I'm following my joy, my happiness. I'm doing what feeds my soul. This is now dead and gone. These are new beginnings now that are suffering. With every ending, there is a new beginning. Follow it with faith. All right, Gemini, Sun, and Rising. I'm now ready to commit to you. It's a lot. Does your person wants to say, I'm working on my financial security and stability so I can give you the world and provide for you. Wow. So for small, certain masculines, they're still working on this for Gemini, Sun, and Rising. The other ones, they've already completed this. This is what they were doing the whole time so that they can give you the world. And it's here twice. So that's confirmation for one of you that they've completed this. Knock, knock. I'm standing outside your door. What did I say about that unexpected visitor? Somebody coming to see you and you're not going to know it. Traveling to you. Expect for us to reunite in the coming days. Okay. That's part of the blessing that's coming for some of you. Can you see it? Why is it not showing up? Things aren't always what they seem. Look closer. With that death card, secrets are going to be revealed. It's the end of things being hidden for some of you, Gemini, suns, and risings. Our love is eternal. I see that very clearly now. Well, what was I saying about the other group? They see what this is on a soul level, right? They want somebody with a soul, just they don't want a hot person in their life. Bottom of the deck, you change, you have changed me in ways you just can't comprehend. Wow. This is a lot. This is a lot. Gemini sun and rising. Now we have uh What's the water sign? Cancer. <laughs> we are now at Cancer. Excuse the writing. They're just having me type it up like that because they're coming through me pretty quickly. How do you want me to shuffle, Holy Spirit? Um, okay. These are very difficult cards if you guys don't already know. <laughs> All right. 
what does um, Cancer, Sun, and Rising person want them to know? Oh, the card already came out and landed on my foot. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Yeah, you do. All right. Bottom of the deck, romance, Cupid's arrow, strikes. This is for some of you, Cancer, Sun, and Rising. You have the power to walk away. Remember, because there's something about focusing too much on the romance of this connection. This is not what this is about. This is a soul connection. Okay? It's a soul connection. You're not going to find joy and pleasure in the romance, guys. You won't. You will not with just having that. It's not going to be the divine connection. So some of you are walking away from just focusing on the romance. Um... Some of you, you've already walked away and now romance is coming in. It depends on where you are in your journey. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do we have for Cancer, Sun, and Rising? What else do, does their person want to say to them? There we go again. Spirit. Things aren't always what they seem. Look closer. Stop looking at it from a 3D level. This may also be, some of you may be thinking that your person <laughs> may be like, oh my God, all I think about is sex and this, 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 this. There's other stuff going on. And this is why they're telling you this. All right. Really go to your higher self for this. Expect for us to reunite in the coming days. There could be a reunion here. Okay, this person may be repeating the same behavior to test you, or they may not. They may be coming back as the true knight, okay? As a true masculine here, like divine masculine. <clears throat> Others of you, you may be guided to walk away because if this person continues to act in this manner, like the, you know, comes in gets what they want or they only they only want like sex from you or they're talking it's always about sex like nope 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 you walk away from that all right so leo sun and rising leo is our next season coming up in the summer months so let's see what do we have for leo what do you want me to do okay this is really weird the dove dove might be significant to you leo sun and rising Holy Spirit, Archangel, Black, the Fans, Pain Series. What does Leo, Sun, and Rising's person want to say to them at this time? I heard one more, and then I will pull from the top. Look, there's a dove again. Okay, there's some synchronicity with the dove here. Holy shit. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. When we're talking about the soul, this is about, for some you, some... Leo, Sun, and Rising, that sacred union is here. This full moon in Capricorn is activating that because you've got that world card I talked about. There's a smaller group where this is happening. It's, it's get, you're getting much closer to this, okay? For the Leo Risings I talked about, there's going to be a lot of um, things going on, things popping off for Leo Risings to include union. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is for those Leo, Suns, and Rising. You've already walked away. You are in your feminine power, like full force, okay? You didn't deal with this shadow knight of wands anymore. You're like, nope, 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 not dealing with that. And that is why when you stopped dealing with that and you started doing, your, doing you and you understanding the purpose of this, coming into your power to say no to that stuff and then learning from that too, now you're going to get the ultimate blessing of sacred union. So congratulations. Your person's also telling you they see you in your power. And because you walked away finally, you're they were like, oh shit, man. And they learned a lot from that, and so did you. They're saying that they this is they understand that this is a sacred connection. They're gonna honor and treasure this connection because they know what it is now, and they're honor they're gonna honor and treasure you. All right. What 
else does Leo, Sun, Rising's person want to tell them at this time? Please and thank you. My love for you is way deeper and intense than you think it is. Yep. There it is. This is very serious right here. Expect for us to reunite in the coming days. There it is again. It, the, the connection between you two, what I'm being told by your masculine, it's exceptionally powerful. You have a really powerful uh, connection. It's not just the unconditional love here, but the power for when you guys come into union, holy shit. There's something in the, the activations of your charts when you guys come into union, something massive is going to be activated. But I'm hearing with that power there because of that love. And yes, this love is always deep for the feminines and the masculines. But what I'm getting is that there's a super powerful couple here or a couple. It's a very powerful union is what I'm being told. Um, you are going to be game changers in this stuff is what I'm being. That's what they're telling me. Okay, so you guys are. Oh, my God, I'm feeling it. You guys are very powerful people. Uh, Virgo is next. Virgo, sun and rising. Okay. So how do you want me to shuffle? All right. We will shuffle this way. There's a reason why they're having me change this, guys. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. All right. Bottom of the deck for you guys is transformation. You can't fucking make it up. There it is right there with the eighth house. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. This will transform when you understand this. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. This is you wanting to do something coming from your heart space. That's going to transform you. It's going to transform your relationship. And it's going to deepen with that Scorpio 8th house energy. Scorpio is deep, deep, deep shit. All right, Virgo, Sun, and Rising, what else does your person want to say to you? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, God. <laughs> My love for you is way deeper and intense than you think it is. Expect for us to reunite in the coming days. So there's a strong energy of reunions happening and permanent unions happening, okay? Knock, knock. I'm standing outside your door. Maybe you're going to get an expected visitor to Virgo, Sun, and Rising. All right. Let's look into what's after Virgo. Libra. Libra, Sun, and Rising. Where are we in this Holy Spirit? Oh. Okay, Libra. They want me to do the weird, I don't know. There's the reason for all of this. And they actually, if you are getting bent out of shape, because if you are... If you come up, okay, when it's time for your reading or whatever from your person and you're getting all bent out of shape because of the way I'm shuffling, that's an ego thing. There's something you need to face about that as to why you're, you're getting irritated, why you're wondering why you didn't get one type of shuffle compared to the other ones. I'm getting that for some of you, so that needs to stop. Libra, sun, and rising. Stop. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live, live your dreams passionately. See? Beginnings again. Endings and new beginnings. You are going to start a new chapter in your life. Embracing it 
a new adventure. This is you following your own adventure, not going on an adventure with your person or expecting your person to be there to hold your hand to think it's going to make everything better. That's not how this works. You're going to be living your dreams passionately, doing things that are creative, you finding your joy, okay? You're going to start to realize, I can create a much happier life for myself without my person. Bottom of the deck. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That could very well be a shadow of fear, something you do not want to look at. Now is the time to look at this Libra sun and rising. You can't avoid this because if you keep suppressing this and you can't face this, there won't be a new beginning. You've got to realize the qualities you don't like are also your own the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection right be careful of what you're projecting especially if you're projecting low vibrational frequencies out there all right <clears throat> what else holy spirit Uh, Libra, Sun, and Rising. What does their person want to say to them? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I reacted instead of responding. Please don't take it personally. Or maybe you reacted instead of responding. Or this is also your person that reacted instead of responding. See, remember that projection stuff. They're projecting what's going on onto you. Because there's something about your inner side you don't like that you actually had them throw back at you. Okay? There's that. There's also, knock, knock, I'm standing outside your door. Now, this could also be about this person coming in for a reunion and saying, hey, you know, I, I reacted. I didn't mean to say that. Or they come to your door and something else happens, right? The shadow knight of wands. And they're acting the same way. But remember, it's going to be a test for some of you. Are you going to react or respond to it? Are you going to react to it as a human being or as a soul being? That's a big one for some of you. All right, so now after Libra, air is Scorpio, right? Yes. <coughs> Scorpio, sun, and rising. Whoa. Okay, Scorpio, sun, and rising. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. That's a big one for some of you because Scorpio, your shadow side is possessiveness. You need to have control. There's also jealousy there. There's also um, a little bit of anger, but there's a strong energy of possessiveness, okay? Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Transformation, again, that's you, Scorpio. And you are ruled by Pluto, which is the planet of power. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things. But this is not about deepening where, oh, we're coming into union and we're going to tell each other our feelings or deep feelings. No, this is the... Scorpio shit, the dark shit. This is how it's going to deepen, okay? That's what they want me to get across. You really doing the serious work. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. That's twice Scorpio sun and rising. That's twice. All right, so after that is Sag. We are dealing with Sagittarius right now. Let's put everything back in here. All right, Saggies. Sag, sun, and rising. 
<laughs> they want me to do a combination for this one. Oh, 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 oh. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. See, I was talking about impulsiveness, hastiness. Like, I got to I gotta take shortcuts. No, there's got to be a faster way to do this. I thought I'd be here by now. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Because you got to understand this, which is why you can't take shortcuts or rush through this. You're not going to learn your lessons. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. It's a soul connection remember <laughs> remember who you are <laughs> now we have mufasa coming in here that's hilarious bottom of the deck criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform you gotta stop doing this this is not helping you the person the connection at all it does not get you closer to union stop looking at it from a 3d point of view look at it from a higher point of view here your your higher self okay love and accept each other as you are and stop looking at it in the 3d perspective you are bigger than that this connection is bigger than that for some of you that's going to be a very hard lesson to learn holy spirit our king of galactic families pray in serious please be the highest good what does Sagittarius Sun and Risings um, person want to tell them? I see my world inside your eyes. That's from the When You Love a Woman song. And look, the world is right there. Now remember, if you've got like a world that is crumbling, falling apart, you think that your world isn't harmonious or whatever, they're seeing that type of world inside themselves and inside your eyes too okay i'm getting that as well but they also see something in you they see your soul they see your light but you are not acting as the soul being that they know you are in the physical knock knock i'm standing outside your door you could be there's a lot of unexpected visitor stuff here again with the knight of wands it's with this energy yay Okie dokie, peoples. All right, so now we have Sag. Now next is Capricorn. Moon is in your sign. All right. Full moon in Capricorn. <laughs> Don't ask me why I said that. Okay, stop. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. That's coming up again. All right. Bottom of the deck. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. There's something about you're not finding joy because you don't have a relationship or because you're you're getting tired of Knights of Wands coming in, the, the shadow sides of them or whatever you've got to magically transform yourself and transform your viewpoint of what this is, right? Allow joy into your life regardless of tra the transformations, regardless of the circumstances, and stop criticizing. You may be criticizing your situation, your love situation. You're criticizing everything. That's full moon in Capricorn, the shadow side. That's not going to help you, Capricorn. It's not. Capricorn, sun, and rising, I should say. All right, let's see what your person wants to say to you. What does your person want to say to you at this time? Holy Spirit, Archangels. I'm going to ask you to move in with me. This could be in the future, could be now. But remember, if you're still criticizing about things, you're not in alignment with this happening. Or maybe there's something about you need to move out somewhere, you need to move in someplace else. 
Um, this could very well be the masculine asking you to move in. And then the whole criticizing stuff, you, when they come to you to talk about things, you cannot be criticizing them about something. That is not a divine feminine. All right. That's not a divine feminine Christ. All right. If anybody's stripping, if people are stripping you of your joy. That's on you. It's not on them. It's not on anybody else. Okay. It's not on anybody else but yourself. I reacted instead of responding. See, please don't take this personally. Don't take it personally. See what I was saying? Everybody does things, but it could be very well a projection. It's a reflection of what we are inside or some fear that we have. All right, now we have Aqua, Aquarius. Put that up there. Aquarius, sun and rising. You are up. All right. Let us do this. The weird shuffling. But I do what I am told to do. My guides know exactly what the heck they are doing. Past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. This could be romance coming in or someone's coming back in to just romance you instead of coming at you at a soul level. It could be a lot of things, right? This could be about um, you're releasing something. You could also be releasing the need to have romance in your life. And, and, and instead of, it's like you want romance, but you really need a soul connection. Okay. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Um, again, new paths again with the world card, the death card here, the, the eighth house, the new beginnings and endings, that type of thing. Um, you're starting to realize that you need more than what you think you wanted. Okay. A smaller group of you, this could very well be where the person is now gall galloping into your life, but coming from a very, they're a very chivalrous night now. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of romance. There's going to, they're going to be sweeping you off your feet. Uh, but they're doing this in a way that a gentleman, a divine masculine Christ would do it. All right. But it, it depends on where you are in your journey. Again, the others of you, you've got to let go of needing romance or whatever in your life and start realizing you're here for a soul's purpose. Make sure your ringer is on. I'm about to call you. Well, you're the first one to get that card. You could be getting a phone call from your masculine or you could just be getting a call, period. OK, and it has to do with the past. All right. This could even be about something. Cupid's arrow strike. This could be something about that makes your heart sing. Okay. It could be that too. All right. You could be getting a call from your masculine or a call from somebody else, some other masculine. Our love is eternal. I see that very clearly now. They could be coming in to tell you, I see what this connection is about. Others of you, this could be where maybe they want to call you and talk to you to tell you this, but then they hold back. It depends on where you are at. Okay. In your connection. Okay, lastly, we have none other than Pisces. My beloved Pisces. All right, let's see. All right, Pisces, what do we got for you? You are the last sign of the zodiac. What does your person want to say? <laughs> friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve, absolutely. You want to be best friends with your masculine, okay? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Again, it keeps coming up again. There's also an energy of for those Pisces sun rising, your person doesn't want to be friends anymore. Like there's been some sort of friendship established or maybe they're going to strengthen the bond of friendship and then that's when the, the, the union's going to come in or something like that, but... I'm getting more strongly for Pisces Sun and Rising that they're, they've learned a lot from that friendship with you. They may have wanted something else with you, but they just weren't ready and they kind of knew that. 
and you know your actions later on or or whatever it was that you said helped them to realize certain things and now um they're letting that past go whatever happened between you and your person during your friendship in the past because remember if you're a divine counterpart you're a twin flame you are not boyfriend and girlfriend before you do not live with each other you do not become boyfriend girlfriend okay that is not a true divine counterpart relationship connection it's not a true twin flame connection but i it's like counterpart it's a divine one okay you don't have that type of relationship you have a friendship first and then after you do your work is when you come into the sacred union so for some of you pisces sun and rising this is now leaving you this is now a thing of the past so don't let the past come back in when this person comes back in because what this person wants right now is release those things that happen between you two and embrace the new possibilities follow it with faith you should know by now if you're a divine feminine christ what this connection is about you should know by now how important this connection has been to you and to your person because you should not be the same person you were when you met your counterpart and they want <coughs> to move this up a level to become you know one with you but it's more so of having an actual relationship in the physical okay there's also for some of you you haven't really established a friendship yet and this is what needs to be built upon first you can't go straight into a romantic relationship with your person because when that happened with some of your other relationships it didn't go well for you did it be friends first that's one thing i learned the hard way okay What else does Pisces the Sun Rising want to say to them? <laughs> Make sure your ringer is on. I'm about to call you. And then we got, I want to have a family with you. Well, what was I saying about they don't want to be friends with you anymore. They want something more and they also want a family. Okay. There's communication coming in. All right. A lot of things are going to be released with this full moon and Capricorn. And then we have bottom of the deck i want you and no one else why is that focusing today oh well i think you guys can see that it's so weird with the lighting guys sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't i know why my guys are telling me i don't have to be a perfectionist okay <laughs> all right that's pisces sun and rising okay so we're gonna go utilize my oracle deck my star see it's not going to look so bright because the the lighting here kind of got weird because there was a storm outside now it's all interesting oh you know why because i forgot to turn on a light over there anyway it is what it is this is my star into your power deck okay it is available for pre-order if you pre-order this deck now okay i'm working with my printer um to get the rest of the copies in because there's something else that we're tweaking um and my guides are telling me not to, to, they didn't want me to put these for sale before the decks came out. There's a reason to that. But anyway, if you do pre-order this deck, there's a link to pre-order this in the description box, okay? If you do pre-order it before um, the offer vanishes, you will be able to get a coupon code for 25% off any of my individual readings, okay? Um any of the personal readings that I offer, you can, you will get 25% off if you pre-order it. Once I get acquired, when I, once these come in, once these are shipped to me and I have the copies in hand, that will not, that offer will not stand. Okay. So if you would like to get a copy of this, um, check the description box below. If you go to capellawellness.com, click on shop in the navigation menu. And when you purchase this, you will get 25% off an individual reading. That is $100 or more. I have to put that out there. I forgot that that's, there's a, a rule there. So anything that is over $100, you can get 25% off. All right. 
any of my individual services. Um, what was the other thing? Um, yeah, so, and I have a little note for you there. This is kind of what it looks like, but I'm gonna shuffle this. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm actually using this in a reading for the first time, everybody. Oh, and when you receive this deck, it's going to be cleansed with Palo Santo. I'm going to say a special prayer from uh, the Archangels, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary. Okay. Um, I am putting out a bundle. If you don't have my masculine deck, because this is my deck too. All right. My Divine Masculine Spoken Words deck. This is, a ready to sh this is ready to ship. This is already available for sale. Okay. Now, if you're a paid Capella member of mine, if you have a subscription, a Capella membership, you will also get 10% off of the purchase of this deck. So if you're already a Capella member, remember that you have 10% off. If you would like to be a Capella member, you will be able to get 10% off this deck and you'll still be able to get 25% off of any of my readings that are $100 or more, okay? All right, we're gonna leave with some final guidance with this full moon of Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic families, please, please reveal to us for our highest good. Please feel really good. What is the final guidance for this collective with the full moon in Capricorn? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. journey songs coming out be good to yourself when nobody else will go listen to that song okay it's time to be good to yourself do what makes you happy what gives you joy if those of you are still dealing with the masculines coming out of your life and that strong sexual energy is still there or whatever you need to do what is right for you there's a reason why this is happening you gotta look at it from a soul level all right there's a lot of stuff with creativity, you finding joy in creative projects, creative endeavors, whatever that is, because that's what God put you here for. And your creativity is going to help others to heal, to learn, to grow, evolve, something like that. Like me, I created this deck. I love doing these things. I've never done something like this before. Okay. But at the same time, I'm utilizing my creative talents and gifts and I designed these on my own. Okay. I didn't have anybody to help me with the design. I did this all myself. Okay. And just so you know, these decks are printed in the United States. They're not coming from China. All right. So I was creating these things and I'm utilizing it as a teaching tool. Okay. So be good to yourself. Wow. During this reading, a storm was coming and look, it already blew over. This storm will blow over. All right. It will end, but you've got to be part of the ending. But this is also you staying strong through that storm. Don't expect God and archangels just to end it for you, just to like have it go away. Know that through all every storm, there is a rainbow or there is a clearing. The sun comes out, right? There's never a time where it's storming for days and days and days upon it. Maybe that's rare, but you get the point. This is going to blow over. This is going to end. But you've got to learn how to stay strong through it. And even in the circumstances that you're in, you got to find your own joy. This is part of the purpose of you being in these connections. It's exactly what, what I have been able to do. And then separation isn't a thing. You, you don't realize, like, yeah, I miss my person, but it isn't that bad. Because my person helps me in my readings. He helped me create this deck. He helped me create the masculine deck, right? All the messages in the masculine deck were from my person. He also helped me to create this, too. We're already creating, to, we're already creating together, and he's not even here in the physical yet. That is huge. This is what God wants us to understand. Okay? It's going to blow over, but you've got to learn how to withstand the storm, not praying and hoping that it just goes away. That defeats the purpose of your evolution of the soul. They are coming back to you. 
Well, that's the top of the deck, everybody. But they're going to come back to you very different when you make those seriously profound changes. And you face your fears and you face your shadow. Some of you are afraid to be alone. You're afraid to not have somebody around. Watch what God does when you learn through solitude and independence what you are capable of. It is mind-blowing and it's very explosive. Chakra healing is needed as after that, some of you need to balance out your chakras. You can't make it up because the sacral is there. A lot of you, because it came out in the reverse, the sacral chakra is blocked. 911, you and your person and your union are protected. Let's see, what's after the storm card? Hear them out. Keep up the good work you're doing. Triple twos. This is also the have faith card. Okay. Don't let your ego get the best of you and say, I'm not listening to you and blah, 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 and this, the past, this. No, no. A divine feminine Christ will not say that ever. All right, everybody, that concludes your reading. Again, if you like a personal reading with me, go to capellas.com. Check out the description box for all the awesome stuff that I have there. Get a Capella membership. Try it out for seven days. It's got to really float your boat <laughs> if you feel drawn, okay? Don't hesitate, though, if you feel like you want to try it out and see because it could be something that's going to really help you in your journey. Um, I do offer coaching, monthly coaching and certain uh, memberships, okay? You do the math, you get more bang for your buck. Um, you also get a lot of perks. My Origa membership is the best value one. Go check out what that Origa membership entails. Go to CapellaWallace.com, click on Capella memberships. There's a direct link in the description. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Again, you can pre-order this deck and get some like, you know, the 25% off with that. And my masculine deck is already for sale. Um, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Uh, have a great full moon. All right. Just understand that whatever is being released needs to be released and don't fear that and don't get so caught up in it that it gets you stuck in reverse. Okay, listen to that song again by Coldplay, Fix You. Um, again, be good to yourself. The Journey song, listen to that too. And I really hope that this helped you. So again, any questions you may have, please do not hesitate to ask me. If you download the free mobile app, you can directly chat with me on that mobile app, okay? You can also access as a free member um, the Capella Crew Forum. You can get weekly uh, messages from me for free, okay? But everything else that is on that um, web app, the free web app that I have, the link to the web app is in the description box as well. Uh, everything else is locked with the exception of like you can book a reading in the app if you would like or sign up for a membership in the app, all right? Okay, I think that's about it. All right, guys, that concludes your reading. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out. Mm -hmm.